Yeah, I really, I, I really don't have much else to say about this game. Oh, lava rising. The, the, I love these kinds of levels. Like we had to, like, this is auto scrolling done right. Like you're running away from something, but it's not at, it's at your own pace in a, in a sense. Like you, you're like running away from something that, uh makes sense to run away from but you're not getting um what was it the camera's not pulling you back or making you wait uh, you can still run through the level at your own pace you're just uh getting chased by something and you just gotta book it until it re before it reaches you basically and uh i know that for like uh yeah okay that makes sense uh, i feel like uh, oil scrollers should just be just not exist in favor of stuff like that instead because it's just it's a lot more fun uh it makes more sense and uh yeah <laughs> that's all there really is to it more games should just do stuff like that like i don't i don't know i don't know why we still sometimes have auto scrollers like i mean it's a lot less apparent than that they used to be i guess but it still happens um yeah, je uh, was it? Uh, forces had no reason to have an auto scroller section. But that's a that's a bag of worms I'll get to in about ten years time. <laughs> I mean, it won't it it won't take that long, but I don't plan on doing forces for a while. But goodness, these levels are really short, though. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, not that I'm complaining, because then. I can get through this playthrough quicker, but jeez. Also, I like how the backgrounds are literally just the the canyon world, just with like some added fire. Like it literally, the, this world look just looks too much like the canyon wo uh, world in this game. At least in the other games, it feels more like a lava level. But again, uh, I mean. DS hardware, uh, I'll, do, I'll let it slide uh, this time. And I mean, it is a pretty good looking DS game, all things considered. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Why does it feel like we're in a cave? Why does it sound like we're in a cave? It's a bit, it's a little bit unfitting to be honest. <laughs> anyways, anyways. I don't want to go into a neg negative uh, stance again. No, I've already done enough of that. Let me get those. Oh. No! Well, at least I was proven wrong. There was a checkpoint here, so that's nice. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, let's try and kill more enemies with this. Or not. That barely lasts any time. Ugh. Right, boomerang. I really don't want to deal with that guy. Can I just get with this? Nice. Uh. Oh crap. Oh. Dang it. I read that wrong. My reeds are getting rusty. Oh my goodness. Hastiness paid off. <laughs> I guess. But 
Yeah, man, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't really have much. I, I basically... I've said all I needed to at this point, like... I've talked about the star coins, I've talked about the secret exits being an issue. Um, I've talked about uh, the the power up set extent, at extent, extensive length. Uh, talked about... Uh, well, hmm. I'm not sure I've talked if I've talked about how these worlds basically these uh, set of worlds become the norm, but yeah, I mean I'm pretty sure I did. But if I haven't, then yeah, there's you're gonna see these worlds for the other new Super Mario Bros. games. So uh, yeah, don't expect too many new environments. Is all I'm gonna say. Which is basically my main criticism. With the new Super Mario Bros. series, pretty much. Right, you just need to die. Just do this, I'm gonna can- I said cancel it out. How do I even do that? Like, can I- I got like- Oh no. Mario World is the only game where you can uh, throw shells in the air. How do I? Okay, no. Okay, I have to press up, I guess. Alright. Alright, let's see how this goes. Yeah, let's go. Getting a one up. Oh, getting yeah, a one up. Getting a star coin when you're invincible. Oh my goodness, that's way too close. That's that's insane, dude. Like getting a, I guess getting a star coin when you're invincible counts as get makes you get a one up, which is, oh come on, really? Yeah, I'll take it. But yeah, that's interesting. Didn't know that. And that's there's something I'm missing, like I got- I, I'm pretty sure I didn't get enough kills before I got that one up. What is this? Okay, I was gonna say, I wasn't sure if that would kill me. What even are those enemies? I can barely tell. But yeah, a little gimmick here, the- the molten rocks falling down, just, you know, they break everything, they break all the, all the uh, blocks, well not, they don't break everything, they just break, uh, break the blocks, uh, so be careful, and, you know, this is a gimmick I can get down with, because you can, it gives you a chance to see them coming, there you go, start, nice. And I see that down there. Yeah, okay, this is- okay. This is what I mean by earlier about how the game... It's basically as good as it could have, could be because... You know, right there, how, and and like how how I've been talking about how it uses... It, it, it uses... Uh, it's clever with, with its level design and... Um, uh gimmicks or whatever you want to call them because right there um the molten rocks break blocks and stuff so it's like okay let's make a uh, a uh, cage of blocks that you can't normally break through and you need to get the molten rocks to break it for you like that's why I, that's kind of the thing i'm talking about like i think that's just cool please don't be a one that has to be a that has to be a regular mushroom right Okay, good. Nice. Okay. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we got... 
We got, not counting this, we've got two levels left, I believe. Alright, so let's just make a beeline for the, uh, the, uh, tiny, the little mini pipe. Going back to, like, the 2D Mario talk, though, I, I totally should just find the time to just cheer on stream Mario Maker again, because, uh, those streams, those streams were fun. I should try and, yeah, I should just try and do that again, because it's been so long since I played that game. Alright, I need to, I need you guys to break this for me. I mean, I guess the problem with this is that you're at the mercy of the AI. Or oh, RNG. That totally should have heard it, come on. <laughs> I need that. Okay, there we go. Alright. Oh, we got a maze here. I'm assuming I have to follow the coins. Okay, that's a dead end. Okay. That was pretty easy. Now I just gotta get out. I appreciate the coins. Get some... Gives you a general idea of where you want to go. Alright. I've only really been using the restore points to... Just to avoid inconveniences. Because um, if, if I die, I won't really have another chance to get that star coin for quite a while. And again, I just prefer the way they handle the items in the in the other new games, where you get like a list of all the ones you. I don't know. I'll talk more about how it works in in the when I get to those games. No point talking about that now when it's not relevant. Okay. Oh goodness. Uh, Fortress 2. What's... Oh, it's another one of these. Uh, yeah, let's just get a mushroom. Me no want to be smell. Okay. Yeah, I've never been a fit, big fan of the snake platform. It's basically just a uh, glorified auto scroller, and you know how much I like I like those. Yeah, what can I really say? <laughs> the level kind of speaks for itself, honestly. It's like there's nothing, there's nothing going on, like. Besides me getting impaled, pretty much. Oh, dude. I'm sorry. I I, I just like. 
I said all I really need to. Red coins are so strict in this game, what the hell? Outspeed it. I mean, the I mean, one thing I will say, uh, speedrunners probably enjoy these uh, kinds of levels to a point because they can rest a bit because <laughs> they don't have to do too much. Unless there's like some crazy skips that I'm not aware of here. Just take me out. Alright, let's see if I can do it with one hit point. Yeah, again, double damage with ground pounds, so. And he's done. Nice. Okay. And now we got the final level. Alright. I might as well use this up. And, um, because, I mean, there's no reason for me to do the final boss twice, so, um, I may as well just show something funny you can do. Oh, well, I mean, I've already shown off that you, I believe I've shown off that you can just use the Mega Mushroom to beat Bowser. Uh, but, you know, it's just funny. And again... Bowser's at, Bowser at this point is basically dead, and you'll see what I mean in just a bit. Because goodness gracious, it's brutal. Like how come he's like gone, have like had like a lava bath so many times before, and then and, and then suddenly this time, uh, it starts. He starts uh, It starts actually affecting him. <laughs> But yeah, what I remember from this level is that a lot there are a lot of fire shooters, and um, I mean, I guess there's like some gravity shenanigans going on. Uh, besides that, it's more more or less your run of the mill castle level. No, nothing really too special there. Alright. Yeah, I'm glad we're coming to the end because, yeah, there's nothing. I get. I, I've said it at nauseum at this point, but again, I just. There's nothing else to say. Alright. So you just have to find, like, switches to flip the gravity, pretty much. I'll flip the ceiling, either which way. That is weird looking.
All right. May have to replay the level. I, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get everything. Let's see what that star coin is first. Okay, okay. Alright, it's the first one. And look at the map, we... We haven't even moved an inch. I believe that- I, I think that's kind of an illusion, like when you go to the neck, the... The- when you go to an area where... It's like the next big gauntlet, for lack of a better word. Uh, you kind of just... Your icon just kind of goes zooming to the side. So... We're not actually at the start. Alright, where am I? I am somewhere. Yeah, you ju we just warped to the middle. I feel like I missed something, though. Oh. So this is uh, coming back from the uh, the older games. So like, you remember how in some of the castle on some of the castle levels, there was like pathways you could take and uh, you took the wrong one you uh, had to go through the same exact path again until you figured it out basically the same thing here except you actually get a uh, you actually get a sound effect for it so you can actually tell that you're going through the right way or not which is nice nice Totally just run for it. Yeah, of course, I'm not surprised. I guess I am gonna have to do this again. I can kind of see Bowser's eyes flickering a bit there, so maybe he's not dead dead, but still, it's, they're still pretty messed up. But yeah, like, you, you could just fight these guys legit, but screw that noise. You dead. You dead. We win. Ah, oh, man. Credits we can't even see, yay! Can I skip this? I feel like we're gonna have to watch this twice. Okay, maybe not. Uh, I get, I, I'll just get um, final thoughts out of the way that now then. Um, basically, I, I don't know. What, what can I say that I haven't already said? I, I enjoy the game for what it, for what it is. I think it's a um nice cool uh, a nice uh, um comeback to 2d mario and uh, i think it in i think it implements some of the 3d mario stuff pretty well into 2d like the the wall jump um and stuff like that and like gr the ground pound and all that and um again i think the game is basically as good as it could be um like it does a lot of clever things with the 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 items it has even even if it's uh even if the uh 
new items are just for like those kinds of puzzles um and i like and again and again i like i like the the fact that go there's um get going to worlds four and se uh, was it three and seven i i can't remember like two worlds uh you had to finish one world with a mini mushroom and and uh i think that's pretty cool um and uh, the new, the new, again, the new items are cool in concept, but, um, for practical uses, I feel like they're just too, they're too focused on be, being used for puzzles and star coins. Um, but, like, again, uh, that, that being said, though, uh, star coins, like I said, is a really nice addition. I'm glad it became a staple because, again, um, casual players can just get to Bowser and have a good time. Those hardcore players can get a little bit more out, out of the game uh, by finding the star coins, uh, trying to find all the secrets the game has to offer. Um, and secret exits, while I, I do like that they're back, I just wish it was easier to tell what stages had them, again. like I said before, uh, because, you know, it's not very fun going through levels constantly, like thinking there's a secret there. And then figuring out later that there's not, and you have to find it somewhere else. Um, the level design, I think, is pretty good. Um, it's basically, again, it's basically as good as it could be. And I think they uh, did. I think they they did some pretty clever things with the level design, and um, like used it to its full advantage. Uh, the bosses, uh, like Bowser Bowser Junior. aside, I think they're decently creative. Like. I like the fact that they're basically small enemies, mega-sized. Um, I think that's pretty cool. And there's P.E. Piranha, uh, which is basically just a giant uh, piranha plant, I guess. So I guess that counts in that regard. But I don't know. The buses are pretty cool for the most part. I wasn't f too big of a fan of the Monty Mole Cannon one. But either way. Uh, the ghost houses, I think, are pretty clever. I like, I like the fact that they're more puzzle-focused. Um, and just trying to get to the the goal let alone finding the secrets is a challenge in and of itself um this is the first game that does these eight level feet like e these eight world themes specifically well not not necessarily the first that does it like there's obviously other games that do desert world and stuff like that but i mean these specific kinds of versions of these worlds if that makes any sense I don't know, uh, but like, I don't know, I think for the first time, I, I, I'll give this game a pass for it being the first one, and I, again, I, I, I think it's pretty good overall, um, I, it has a lengthy amount of side content you can uh, buckle down into, uh, the mini games, and even though I highly doubt you can play Luigi versus on the Wii U version, uh, or the Wii U port rather, um, that is still a decent, uh, decent amount of fun with a friend or a sibling, um, and um, yeah, it's a pretty good game. Uh, has some issues, but <laughs> now twirl your twirl your father around and throw him into a spike bomb. But yeah, pretty good game, I think. Here yeah, we got two stars on our menu select now. Oh, what's this? Well, we'll check that out in a in a bit. But first, let's go to let's just go back to World Eight. Um, but like, I don't know. I, it's basically it. Uh, music's, music's decent, nothing to really write home about, but it's fine. Uh, it The game graphically looks pretty good for a, a DS game. And I like, I, I, uh, I mean, it, it basically started with Mario World, like how you can have an item in your reserves. But I'm glad that's back. And, um, yeah, I don't know. That's basically all I, all I need to say about the game. 